welcome back to the channel and today we've got the epic drew joining us uh so he's recently reached 90 days without drinking and he's kindly agreed to come on today to really share his story and inspire you guys so he's 42 years of age he lives in delaware in the usa uh he's a father to a six-year-old son he's a husband an entrepreneur and a coach and he helps people with their health goals uh, and he also helps them go debt free so i'm gonna leave drew's like social media stuff in the description so if any of you want to connect with drew after the call then you can feel free to reach out to him and see what he does as well and uh, he's got like an infectious energy which we'll see in a minute but welcome drew so so good to get you here thanks for coming on the channel Ah, oh, thanks for having me leon so and how many days has it been now for you uh yesterday was 98 days without any alcohol nice man and so when was the last day last time you went 98 days without drinking uh, I can't remember going 98 days without alcohol at all. I had a couple of days in the last uh, decade where I went 50 days without drinking, uh, but it was always something that I was thinking about the entire time. Um, but right now it's 98 days and I feel great. My life is so much better without it. Nice, man. Love it. So, yeah. So what was your, what was your drinking like before you got started with the program? Um, I was drinking uh, a few drinks. I, I, you know, I didn't drink to get drunk and I, I didn't have a habit of getting myself in a position where I was doing, you know, like dangerous things with alcohol, but I was thinking about drinking all of the time and I was exhausted in my mind, just always thinking about and considering and wondering if I was going to drink Later that day, I would think about drinking in the morning. I would think about drinking in the afternoon. And a lot of times in the evening, I would be drinking. Now, I would only have two or three drinks, usually maybe, you know, four or five days per week. But I just did not want to feel like I was just consumed with thinking about alcohol all the time. My energy level was really low. I wasn't sleeping well. My skin wasn't very good. I just didn't feel great. And I was tired of thinking about alcohol all the time. Mm -mm -mm. Got it, man. So for you, yeah, it was like just kind of dominating your mind. Um, so how else was it impacting your life? You just mentioned like energy levels and skin wasn't good. So what are the impact was the drinking having? Yeah, so I mean, the energy, the energy levels was, was the main thing. But, you know, I'm 42 and I was having a hard time like maintaining my health and I wasn't really looking good. Like I, I was looking in the mirror and I did not like what I was seeing. Um, my nutrition has never really been a problem and exercise has always been something that I like to do ever since I picked up the exercise habit. But the more I drank and, and the more I continued to have alcohol in my life, the less my body looked the way that I wanted it to look. I really did not like how I was feeling. I didn't like what, what I was seeing in the mirror. I didn't like the way I was sleeping. Uh, energy was just so low, man. I just did not feel good about myself at all while I was drinking. Yeah, that's it, man. hundred percent. So then what have you done to try to stop it in the past, Drew? Uh, well, willpower. Uh, I definitely tried that in the past. Um, I did do a couple of other programs, things that I read, a couple of books that I read. Um, None of it really worked for me um, until I made the decision, until I started doing first principles thinking where I realized that my relationship with alcohol was not like I had a, I had a, a distorted view of what alcohol was doing for me the entire time. And as soon as I made the decision that alcohol was no longer doing for me what I thought it was. It, it was e it was easy. It has been easy, a freeing feeling like before when I tried to quit drinking, it was like a torture. It was really hard. I was always feeling like I was missing out on something or I was having to give up something that I really loved. But as soon as I adapted the first principles thinking, it was easy for me to realize that I no longer, I no longer feel like alcohol is doing anything for me. In fact, it's only hurting me. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. So it's become so easy to just Say, I don't need this anymore. I don't need this, nor do I want it. No, oh, I love it, man. So it becomes a, a decision of logic instead of guilt or willpower. Exactly. Exactly. It's not taking any willpower for me to not drink now. And, you know, I've always thought that I had strong willpower, 
but when you don't need to use willpower to quit anything like, like alcohol, it's just so much easier. It's so much easier. It's, it's almost fun for me now to count the days off and say, oh, here's another day. Here's another week without alcohol and not having it in my mind. Oh, this is a challenge. It's not a challenge anymore. It's just easy. It's poison, man. So, so uh, what was it that made you decide to get started with the program, Drew? Well, I, uh, I, I went to a, a baseball game and I had more drinks at that baseball game than I should have. And I was feeling really, really sick that night. And um, I had been thinking about quitting alcohol for years. Like I've, you know, it's been on my mind to quit alcohol for a really long time. And I laid in bed that night and I just said a prayer and I said, God, just help me get free of this. And I woke up the next morning and when I turned on my phone, one of your videos was on there and I'd seen your face before on, on YouTube. And I'd actually had watched a couple of videos before. Um, but this time after that prayer and then opening up my phone the next morning and seeing that video right there, right then I just decided to watch it. And then I watched the video and at the end of the video, you said, go ahead and, you know, you know, click on the link and, and watch this other video about how easy it is, or you were saying something about first principles thinking in that video. And I watched it and it just made sense at that moment. So I clicked, I watched the video. I said, this is definitely what I want to do. Reached out to you. We had a, we had a, we had a conversation just like this one. And by the end of that conversation, I already knew that this is where I wanted to be. You'll love it. Dude, you know how many people have said that to me? They, they said a prayer. And then the next day they found my videos and they just knew it was like, it was freaky. It's so awesome. That's so awesome. That's nice, man. So then how does life look now? Like what, what changes have happened, Drew? Well, so, I mean, there's so many, so many changes. Uh, number one, energy level, way higher, way higher. Uh, just for example, I went on vacation with my family. And prior to this, when we would go on vacation around four or five o'clock, like towards the end of the afternoon, my energy levels would be so low because I'd be drinking, you know, energy levels would be so low that I wouldn't want to do the things that my wife and son wanted to do in the evening. But this past vacation, man, it was up before everybody else and dragging them to everything that we could do all the way down to the end of the day. My energy levels have been so much higher. I am sleeping better every single night. My skin is so much better. It's been so much easier to maintain my health and my fitness. My communication with the people and the relationships that I have in my life, especially my family, has gotten so much better. I'm so much stronger with my, my wife and son. Uh, I feel like a completely different person. I do feel better today at 42 than I ever have in my entire life. And that includes my, my twenties. I just, my life is so much better Leon in every single, I can't think of a way that my life and health and, and my mentality, my emotional well being, every single thing is better right now. So is everything, man. So it's the energy levels, the sleep, the skin, you know, your health and fitness goals, you're making progress on those. Uh, yeah. You feel stronger at home with your wife, with your son. Uh, you never shared that before that you said that you, you you feel like better now than you ever have done, even in your twenties. So that's that's awesome. Yeah, I don't I don't remember feeling this good. Like I just, it's hard to explain. Like you don't know how bad you're feeling until you feel great. Like I feel, yeah. I feel great every day. And you know another thing is, problems pop up right um, in life. Things happen all the time. Problems pop up. It's so much easier to deal with these problems now than it was before. Before it would be really quickly going to just, you know, trying to solve a problem in the quickest possible way and then quickly getting to how quickly can I get to the beer at the end yeah, of the yeah. day to just like relieve my mind of what's going on. Right now, problems pop up just like it does for everybody else. The relief resolution to the problem appears we solve a problem and we move on and we still feel great and i wake up the next morning feeling like a million bucks instead of feeling like you know not what not, not feeling great when i wake up in the morning i felt bad when i woke up in the morning and i was drinking um not really 
I didn't really feel guilty as much. Um, sometimes I would, I would feel guilty, but I would just feel sluggish and not want to get moving and not be who I want to be for the, for the people that I have in my life. I want to be like a rock, like steady for my family and for the people in my life. And I can do that now. And I didn't think I could do that before. Dude, you're the best. So what, so I didn't actually give you this question before I sent you the questions that I'd ask you, but what, what are you working on now? Like, what are you trying to do now that you've stopped? Like, what, where, where's your focus? Uh, well, so my focus, my number one, well, I have a lot of number one focuses, but one of my focuses is my, my body and my health. Um, I do definitely want to be the, the fit dad when we go to the water park or, we, you know, we go on vacation or wherever we go. I want to be the fit dad, right? I want to be the example for my son. I want people to, to, you know, look at me and say, you know what, that's a healthy, really healthy person. Um, I am, I am really passionate about being debt free and financially independent, uh, in my life. I have, you know, I have a history of, I was, it, it, it wasn't that long ago when I was homeless and didn't have any hope or friends or, or even a thought of a future for myself. And, um, through these last 10, 12 years of personal growth and growing through my life, I've discovered a passion for health and for financial independence. And I want to teach people to do that. So I'm working my, on my own financial independence. I'm working on the relationships I have in my life. My number one goal is to be connected to my son. I want to be as healthy as I possibly can. And I want to have a strong relationship with God. Man. Awesome. So last, last question, Drew. Uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give to somebody that's thinking about getting started with this program? One piece of advice. Um, if somebody's getting thinking about getting started on this program, uh, I would say number one is actually, I want to say one other thing first and then, and then I'll say what I was getting ready to say. Um, the first, the first thing is I just want you to know that if you're thinking about quitting alcohol, you're going to, you're going to do it. And, and it might not be, it might not be right here in this moment today. Uh, it might be a little bit further in the future, but you're going to quit and you're going to be happier because of it. You're going to be way happier and your life is going to be way better. Um, if you're thinking about doing this program, understand going into it that what you're going to learn is why you don't need alcohol and what alcohol actually is doing in your life. And as soon as you understand what alcohol is actually doing in your life, and it's not doing what you think that it's doing, you are going to be free of that, of that need for whatever alcohol, you, whatever you think alcohol is providing you. It's not providing it. And I can't teach you on this call that that's true, but Leon can teach you in the program. As long as you just follow the program exactly the way that he tells you to do it, you're going to realize what alcohol is doing for you in your life, which is nothing. And then you're going to be free to have the things that you want in your life. You want these things. You're thinking about doing it. You should definitely give it a shot right now. Dude, you give me goosebumps. You're a motivational speaker. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much, Drew. And um, I'll, again, I'll leave social media in the, in the description, all right? Okay, sounds good.